Oi, oi. Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. If you could do me a favor and like, subscribe, and flick my bean, that helps the channel grow. In tonight's episode, what I wanna do is I wanna give you a quick tour of all some of my test kits, some of the stuff that I take in for an electrical insulation condition report for a domestic. At the moment, we've been doing shed loads of private rental testing and all that, and I just wanted to show you the uh, kit that we're using. Old oh, Dragonfly was trying to do me. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Yeah, so what I want to do is I'll bring you in nice and episode. what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you some of the bits and bobs that I've uh, used for my electrical insulation condition reports. I've seen a few online at the moment. You've got Mark from uh, Apprentice One to One and also the Bearded Sparks who have done their own little tour test, kit, test kits and I really enjoyed them so I thought why not I'll have a go at it as well. I'll put a link below so you can have a little look at their videos and they'll, I highly recommend them. You know, I love a tool, I love tool reviews so let's go for it. Oi, oi. So what we've got here is that the first one we've got is my arm egg set. I've done a little uh, video of that. That's my torque screwdriver set. That is absolutely essential for doing uh, when you're doing condition reports because obviously once you've done, once you know, because you're uh, dismantling the board, you know, taking circuits out and all that, you've got to make sure they're all talked up afterwards. You know, it's absolutely essential. And I always take that in. Lovely little set. Is it the best set? It's the only set I've got. There has been quite a lot like, on Instagram. I have seen the, quite a lot of people with negative feedback with that but I've always seemed to done or do all right with it but I only actually do use it just for to tighten them up you know I already do it with my normal screwdrivers and then I just finish it off with them or, or make sure that it's cranked up with them second one is a little present Ollie bought me for Christmas oi, oi. I think they call it the meter bag or something like that but I keep my little brother printer oh this is absolutely essential even when we do condition reports we label it afterwards this is the one that's got the app this is the p e 550w that is that is absolutely awesome like uh, I wish I could give you a little tour around it but I'm quite quite limited to what, what I know about how it works, but it's awesome, it really is. And I buy their little snide tapes online, you know what I mean? We've got my test kit, we'll go back to that because I'll give you a tour of that. This is my pack out, this has got all my stickers in it. So it's, it's got my company logos, it's got some pack testing, 240, 400, and it's obviously got all the caution, the, see if it's got the harmonized color cables, I don't bother with the two versions. And this, this is probably one of the most important parts of the condition report. We absolutely, we won the lead everything we are to absolutely everything we don't actually record it because we actually do the r1 r2 method but we absolutely the first thing we do is you know whilst i'm sitting up the laptop and firing it all up and all that all he goes around we do it you know he goes from the main met and then we just go around with the meter i'll put a couple of images up but yeah we absolutely that gives about 40 50 quid i'll do a review of that on a separate video and then we go to the uh, main pie what i'll do is i'll put these away and then uh, delve into here because yeah, the first one. things I've got is a cow card. I don't know if you've seen one of these. An insulation and continuity. As an approved contractor, I think also even as a uh, domestic installer, you have to have one of these because it's a good way to uh, keep calibration of all your meters and all that. I've got one in this test kit and I've also got one in the other test kit as well. I've got I've always got two running because I've got some subbies who I lend a meter to and uh, this is my one. And then the other guy's actually got his own. And we've all, funny, oddly enough, they're all 17, 20 uh, MFT. Right, in this pocket, I'll turn it around and we go for each pocket, yeah? Yeah, so in here, what I've got is my Mega DCM 305E leakage clamp meter. This has been a game changer for me. Where we do a lot of uh, testing, every single board I do, I, I the first, one of the first things I do is I put this around the main tails that are coming in between neutral and live, and that will give me what leakage is coming out of there. So if there's any, so if there's any leakage at all, you can go, you can see it. Then also, if there is leakage you can actually flick through all the breakers you can define which circuit it is it just literally disappears once you turn it off most of the time it's global so obviously you know i don't feel too comfortable talking about it too much because i'm limited to what i use it for but i'll attach a video for uh, gsh have done one where they've actually got mega in there watch it honestly you it's a it, that an absolute game changer i tell you this was i bought this I bought this, it's an absolute brilliant bit of kit this is. This is the Q-Tech, it's the uh, lamp holder adapter 
is 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 pretty good. I watched uh, the bearded electrician. He done a uh, he done a review of his test kit, and he had a set of these. And I thought, ah, oh, they're a pretty good idea. I'll give them a try because what what I didn't like is that you know when we change light, there's a period of when you do the test to when we actually put the light up. So you know when we're getting all the uh, shitty ones with the bar and all that, you're putting it up, you're testing it before you do that, and then you put it on, and that weren't really sitting well with me. So what I what I thought was is if I got a set of these, what I could do is plug it in, use the R2 method, but obviously with a like uh, a loop. My meter can do a two two wire loop impedance test even on RCDs. But what you do is you plug it in. I'll show you a couple of images of how you use them. You know it's brilliant, and also it's it's very handy for R2 as well. The only thing is on the other side of the scale is a, I'll put an image up. Is what it won't show is that it won't show if you know if you rely on that for your testing. You know you should really be dropping the lights on the condition report because I'll put an image up because you you, you will won't find like the old pendant behind the thing on all that but you know you are limited to what you can do if you you know if you're stating you're only doing 25% then you know it is what it is you know there's only so much you can do well what we do is we dive into the uh, main compartment these are some of the tools I've got I, they always change that I put loads of different features up I've got I change screwdrivers in it every week I, I absolutely love tools you know what I mean so I've got some TT cutters got a peak pen that don't usually sit in there that's usually in my normal bag but that was just through today where we were finishing off a job these are absolutely awesome these are one of my prized possessions if we're doing r1 r2 or anything in the live board we pull them out or you know if i'm fault finding and all that evening i've also got uni light inspection thing P ps 12r this is the old bonnington inspection thing it's pretty good it's coming handy a few times it may it gives you a bit of peace of mind but what i did notice i paid about 25 quid for that from uh, loadout but you can actually go on amazon and just buy the dentist ones and then i've got the nipex knife the only reason i've got that in there is because uh, i bought that and for some reason i'm so precious about it it was only 13 quid but i never want to use it because it would go black and it's just like i'll just use it if i'm knocking off uh, paint on switches and that climb ones these come on it these come in a set these are absolutely beautiful that one there that little flathead that is absolutely perfect for handy handy block you know what i mean or meters but i suppose you're not supposed to be in meters but most of mine on private land so it don't really matter then i've got a set of the old bayco drivers as well yeah so what i'll do is i'll just show you inside so here we go what we've got is we've got my little love stick this is the uh, ideal von con elite this is this is an awesome little bit of kit this was actually a bit of a deal as well it was 45 quid and it also come with a lock-off kit as well it's a really nice meter that is so what i'll do is i'll probably review that in the future i've obviously got my meter the 1720 i've got a couple of those it's got a couple of, it's got a button missing and all that the other one's got a couple of buttons missing but it doesn't affect the performance of it or at all but the old lease look we've finished quite late tonight so the actual everything was uh, thrown in here that's half the reason i bought it in here so i can sort it all out but yeah on this one i've got the mega i've got the mega leads and that when i say the mega leads i've actually gone for every brand of leads i actually usually like the fluke ones i usually have the fluke the fluke leads in here look i've got a couple of these the reason being is that sometimes when you use these these qtex you have to you have to use it backwards on on the meter and it don't really sit too well so what i do is i put these in there and i also use that for me r1 r2 so i just use the flute flute leads the flute leads are quite nice but the only trouble is is that they're not very strong you know what i mean go for them i've actually got enough a set of testers in here the t90s the uh the flute ones i've actually lost the little uh i've lost the little uh four mil guards on them but they're absolutely awesome i did used to i've got loads of set of voltage continuity testers i uh, actually done a post on instagram and a guy in there absolutely pointed out that you know like uh, what was the ones i've got the t5 fluke ones and he pointed out that they're a multimeter and a gs38 so nay you know what i mean so i totally agree so i've got some uh jump leads for obviously me you know, figure of eights and all that and the r1 r2s and all that and then i've uh yeah so what else i've got is i've got this tape measure what i use this tape measure for is that if we get any observations like uh if we have to change consume unit distribution board and there's going to be any obstructions and all that i literally just take for, take a photo on my ipad the tape in it just i'll put a couple of images up to explain it and all that and anything like that or if we commercial size of the trunk in obviously obviously even observations so if you've got any switches behind or any close to the bow and all that you can measure it because it usually it's 300 from the edge of the bow isn't it you obviously know? i've got my socket in socket and c plug-in tester and i've got my uh volt volt stick volt pen volt things 
not many people are fans of these i don't really get it you know what i mean you've got to take advantage of everything you've got but yeah that's just a quick little tour probably in the future i'll probably go delve in a bit closer and have a little bit of a look but yeah it's in a bit of a mess but that's the reason why i bought it in here to sort it out right Bob, before i forget i forgot to show you where uh, all i keep all the clips all the crocodiles and all that so in this front pocket i've got all the clips and all that i've got quite a few got a soldering iron thing in there got a few of these these are awesome these because that you can test the old uh, way goes with those those little prongs and also they're pretty good for walex rcbo's because obviously they're pretty deep i've got quite a few of these as i say most of them are still on the leads and all that so and they're all, all in there absolutely beautiful i've got a couple in the back of the van as well and it's a lovely little bag the only problem is i've outgrown it i want to get a new bag i'll see uh, nick bundy was reviewing enough of velocity thing or something rogue I don't know, the, the name, their numbers of their bags are pretty peculiar, aren't they? They make them try and sound well exciting. Right, yeah, well, it's only enough for episode. I hope you've got something out of it. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything today, then be electric. Up the old blues. Oi, 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 oi.